Welcome back, guys, to Five Star Betas. So, you can see our tank's kind of green back here. I know there's a lot of people that have issues with this, and they can never get it to clear up. So, I'm going to show you the easiest, simplest way to do this. It doesn't cost nothing. All it costs is patience, and kind of almost like neglect. You guys ready? I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So, first things first, it's been about a week since I've done a water change. So, we're going to do my weekly water change first. This happened about three days ago, we went completely green. The reason this happens is a couple different things. First thing, your lights are on too much. I pretty much have this tank lit a lot. That's why that happened. And number two, nutrients. You're feeding a lot of food. You know, even if they're eating it, so a lot of food going in, a lot of waste being broken down, filters can't handle it, and then boom, you have an algae bloom. Now, people think oh, I gotta change the water to get it to go clear, then you know, yeah, but no. So, what happens is every time you guys change that water, what you're doing is you put that fresh water back in. You're not using roadie water, you're using tap water. There's minerals in there, especially phosphates. Phosphates is the number one food for algae. So, what is happening now is we have too much phosphates, too much nutrients, and all our live plants inside of this tank can't keep up with that load. And now we have an algae bloom we've entered into. So, like I said, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to drain half the tank down. My weekly water change, I usually do about 20% on this tank, but this week we're going to do a 50% water change. So let's get it drained. Alright, we're just about almost at 50%. So one thing I recommend to you guys is to feed your fish before you start draining the water, a couple hours prior. Let those nutrients break down, whatever's in there. Because guess what, they're not going to be fed for almost three days. But they'll digest, no, they're, they're going to be perfectly fine, they're nice and healthy, right? Your fish look healthy, no sunken bellies, they're going to be fine for three days without a problem. So every time we put food, we put nutrients, we put nutrients, we're essentially fertilizing this algae bloom to grow even more. So, no feeding for three days. This little beta. That's doing awesome. Lives in here with the discus and the angelfish. He's one of my breeder males, but he's a jerk. And uh, yeah, so he has to live with the big fish. And he can hold his own against these monsters. All right, almost there, guys. All right, now it's time to fill our tank back up. All right, let's get her filled back up with our fresh, clean water. And I'll show you what next. All right, so I filled her back up. Sure, he looks a lot clearer. Still kind of cloudy looking, but looks a lot better with that 50% water change. All right, now here's the next big thing you got to do. This is the most important part to this whole procedure. You ready? You got to come over here and shut your lights off. Uh, we got plants in here, so we'll give it about two days, and we'll give the plant light for probably a couple hours, maybe four hours. We're going to shut the lights back off. Do it for another two days, shut the lights back off. Uh, during this time, we're going to feed these fish every about two to three days. If they start getting aggressive, I'll do two days, but I'm going to try to hold off for three days. And we're going to keep doing this. Roughly should take about ten days at the longest to clear it up. We're going to do minimal feedings. We're not going to feed excessively. We're going to feed them to keep them in good health. All right. I'm going to do an update in three, two, one. All right, guys. So we're on day three now. Um, as you guys can see, tank's already looking so much clearer. I have had the lights off for the last what, three days after that big water change, and I haven't fed these guys. As you can see, they're all looking great, they're all doing fine. And if you look over here, you can see these discus, and they have laid a bunch of eggs. Plants all look nice and healthy, and green and great. And then we're going to shut these lights back off for another couple more days. And we're going to feed them today. Give them a good meal, not a huge meal, a good meal. And then two or three more days, and go from there and see how things look. All right, today is day four. And you can see the tank's almost crystal clear again. Uh, we're gonna give it another couple more days. I just put the light on for the moment being, just so you guys can see it as a little update. All right, today is day five and we are crystal clear. That's how easy it is, guys. You know, the more work you try to put into fix the map, the more of a struggle you're going to have. 
Uh, it's been five days, we fed these fish one time. So today I'll go back to the regular feeding schedule once a day. I'm gonna put my lights back on. We've only had the lights on, what, three, four hours, roughly one day in between. And uh, yeah, now I'll be good. I pretty much left those lights on all the time just because I wanted to do a video like this for you guys. I've been asked a hundred times how to get rid of green water. And people don't believe how simple it is. And if your tank's more green, you're definitely going to be going more towards the 10 days. But this one was, I'd say, a midway green. It wasn't too bad, but it wasn't great. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.